on. Get up. Come on. Come on. <laughs> God, may this sacrifice appease the hunger of the beast. Please, have mercy, no, I beg you. Our liberation. You can save many, many people. Sega! Don't do it, I beg you! Don't do it, Sega! Please, no! God, let my path be filled with your glory. I seek to regain your love. I seek your forgiveness. Help me quell the desire for revenge. God, give me the strength when I set foot inside those walls to ward off the evil that resides within.
Hey, love. Wake up. I brought breakfast. Come on. Careful, I'm going to eat your croissant. No, please, leave it. I'm waking up now. <laughs> please, give me two minutes to put myself together. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, I'll eat it. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> hmm? oh my god, it's good. Hmm. I know. They're amazing. <laughs> You want to know what else is amazing? You are amazing. <laughs> I mean it. If this isn't a perfect start to the day, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <sighs> Go get dressed. You're already late. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna go get ready. <laughs> Seriously, you'll be late. Come on. Oh, you're still here? Leaving now, love. Okay, have a good day. Thank you.
First of all, let's underline that solar storms are natural phenomena that reoccur with a frequency of about 11 years and are directly associated in periods of intense activity from the active ions in the Let's atmosphere. hope it goes well. It's something that comes around, it goes around. Possibly not like in that movie with, um, who was it again? Nicolas Cage. What? Where all of California was wiped out in a solar flare. Ah, uh, <laughs> I know the one you mean. Well, if it does go like that, then only aliens could save us. Me. Yeah, probably. <laughs> However, don't worry. He said that the power outage will only last a couple of hours. Just enough time okay. to eat, have a beer, maybe play some board games. <laughs> yeah. We've got everyone's favorite artist. See if you can guess who it is. Good morning. Good morning. Hi there. How's it going? <laughs> All good. You? Good. Yeah. Hyped for we tonight? <laughs> of course. Took your sweet time to get here, huh? Yeah, I guess Bit of a traffic jam. Who has long hair? Long hair, of course. He as needed always. to do his own blow dry. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. What's up? All good. Hey, where's my buddy? She's getting ready. How are Angel? you? Not too bad in yourselves. <laughs> good, good. Rushing always, but good. Would be strange if you weren't. <laughs> we hope to have a good party. Here they are, finally! Finally! Hi! <laughs> How are you? Good, you? Very good. Babe, so good to see you! You too! First master <laughs> of the house. Come in. Okay. I discovered a new typically Italian recipe. Brace yourselves. Ah, <laughs> oh, the plates, thanks. Thank you. I found it on a Facebook page called Franca Genius Chef. <laughs> it seemed quite straightforward. <laughs> Thank you. Let's hope it's not an epic fail. It fail-out. smells delicious. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it tastes delicious too, huh, Alice? <laughs> Always Thank so you. kind. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Such a sweetheart. <laughs> All right, everybody served? Uh, wait. Uh, well, you sit down. Okay. Uh, may this blackout get over and done with, and may it bring us a year full of surprises. <laughs> well, then, to surprises. To surprises? To surprises. There we go. <laughs> Enjoy. And now, finally, we can eat. Enjoy your meal, guys. Enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is good. Mmm. Mm. You can say whatever you want about Italians, but no one cooks yeah, like that's they for do. Sure. Mm, I absolutely want the recipe. Come on. Hmm? <laughs> I'll give it to you later. <laughs> Thank you. Does anyone want anything else? No, I beg you. No. Thank you, but no. Good, but too much. <laughs> We're so full. <laughs> delicious. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, delicious. Yeah, it was but great. hell, you made a ton of it. <laughs> uh. 
power cut is in less than an hour. What do we want to do? We could play, uh... The phone game? The hmm? phone game? What's that? Uh, I'll explain. It's really stupid. I mean, it's a stupid game, but it's also funny. You find out a lot of stuff about each other. Cool. So, everyone uh, has to put their phones on the table, and whenever someone gets a text, one of us reads it out loud. And obviously, remove our passcodes. Well, that sounds fucking ridiculous. Come on, Dylan. Are you keeping something from me? Oh, please. It just sounds like a shit game. But hey, if you care so much, then here. Yes, Dylan. Don't mean to sound boring, but I also think this is bullshit. Anxiety. <laughs> but I'm very curious to see whose phone will ping first. It's Ryan. He says he'll anticipate the appointment to 10 a.m. on Monday. Boring. <laughs> I really can't be bothered to go to that reunion. Only fucking numbers on numbers. <laughs> Literally, you just show up, say, good morning, here is the balance sheet for our company <laughs> this month. <laughs> oh, well. At least you understood how the game works. Mm. Simple, right? I still... Think this is a fucking waste of time. Let's do something more fun like Twister. Or since the day is more like New Year's Eve, maybe some drinking games. Huh? Well, um, we can guess whose phone's going to ping next. Whoever gets it wrong drinks. Yeah. Mm, great idea. I'll get the glasses and more alcohol. <laughs> there. I'll take it. <laughs> Hey, little bitch. You're already fucking Dylan? Well, it is incredible that those two morons haven't noticed anything yet again. Are you thinking about breaking up with Matt, or you'll keep pretending it's all a happy family? Well, you tell me. Now I've got to go. There's a boy waiting for me in my room. We'll catch up tomorrow. Have fun, little bitch. What's happening? Yeah. What's happening? Care to explain? Um, nothing. What do you mean? Yeah, this friend's an idiot. She just likes pulling my leg like that. Really? And then let's see. So this is just a shit joke then? Uh, they are joking, right? Let me explain. You're not explaining shit, okay? Abe, listen to me, please. I need to be alone. Matt, wait! Please listen, can we talk? Can we talk? I can explain. Please look at me. I can't
can't stand this silence from you. Where? Tell me, where did I go wrong? What? You didn't do anything wrong. Bullshit. It was all bullshit, all those things you told me. The new house. The keys, the car. Furniture. If I were you, I'd seal my mouth shut. Summer, can I talk to you? Tell me. Come. <sighs> Listen, I can't stand to be here. Alice is upstairs in our room crying. I can't even look at her. How disgusting. What are you suggesting? I don't know. Let's go out to see what's going on out there. I just can't be here. I'm going to explode if I stay in here any longer. I mean it. I know. I understand. I don't know. We could go to the police. Maybe they'll be able to tell us something more. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're thinking of going to the police to find out why the power cut is still going. It's a good idea. We could try. I really don't think that's a good idea. They've been saying we need to stay home on the news. As hard as that is right now, we have to do that. You have no right to tell me what to do right now. Not in my house. I didn't mean to shut the fuck Let up. Let it go. Let it go. It's not worth it. Instead, let's try to understand why the current does not return. You're right. It's not the right time. Let's get out of here, Summer, please. Take the torch. Yes. Uh, the police station is three kilometers away. Can we take your car? Yes, certainly. Dylan, give me the car keys. I'm coming too. not working. Perfect. The solar storm has blocked the control unit. What do we do now? I don't know. I guess we could go back inside and wait a bit. No, I'm walking. Why? It'll be okay, you'll see. No, it won't be fucking okay. How on earth can you think I'd go back in there with you? Come on, calm down. Calm down my ass. Let's go with them. Let's go with them. All right, let's go.
Hey, can we talk? Please let me explain. What is there to explain? You cheated on me. It's not that simple. There's no excuse for what I did to you, I know. But I'm going through a difficult time. I tried to tell you, but it's not so easy. So when were you thinking of telling me that? How long has it been going on for? Maybe. Five weeks or so. Trust me, I was finding the right time to tell you. But you were either busy or working a lot and... All fucking bullshit excuses. I know. I can understand. My workload was nothing compared to what it usually is. So I started leaving early. As I was walking down the street, I met Alice. And she asked me why. I was out so early. So I told her everything. I don't know, but... At that moment, she was there for me. I had... Fears, insecurities, doubts. And I don't know how it ended up becoming what it did. I swear, I didn't want to hurt Shh. you. Can you hear? What? Everything's gone silent. What's going on? I don't know, but it's weird. It's like everything has gone deserted all of a sudden. Let's keep walking. The police station is still a long way away. Wait. Okay, maybe we should actually just go home. He needs to go Help to me, hospital. please! Hey, calm no. down! What is it? It's a beast! It's a creature! It oh, killed my friend! Hi! No! Hi! No! Try to calm down. I can't no, understand let me what go. you're saying! Please! Help me! We have to go no. to the police. No! No, no! Not that way! No! No, please! Calm down! Run! What's Just going run! On? Wait here. Can you tell us what the fuck is happening? What did you see? I don't know. I... I don't... 
don't know what I saw. But it wasn't human. I mean, it was human. But it moved. It moved like a beast. The guy was covered in blood. And the beast was eating him. What was that? We're not safe here. We're not safe. Let's leave. No! <laughs> do now please let's go back I think we should go back home it's safer no you don't get it no place is safe have you seen that that thing then what what do you suggest I don't know I do not know Dylan's right we should go back Oh, that thing! It could be anywhere. We only have torches. Matt, do you have any idea where we are? Matt, I'm asking if you know where the fuck we are! Yes, I know. How do we get home? There are two ways. One is on the main road through town. The other is in the remote pathway through the woods. Fuck. How are we going to get home? We don't have much of a choice. We just need to decide which route is most convenient. Matt, what is the fastest way? Through town. Okay, let's go there then. Are you joking? That thing is there. She's right. Going in town now will be like a massacre. <sighs> okay, then into the woods we go. All right. <sighs> sounds coming from I don't know but we have to keep going okay if we make it home what do we do next I don't know but we need to find help yes we'll wait for the power to come back and we'll call the police probably Did you hear it? Something's here. I feel Don't it. Don't worry. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. I can see the fence. Come on. Come on! Uh, uh, uh. 
God. Go, my son. Quick. going to die. How can you say that? Matt is gone! <laughs> Come on. Let's just wait. Come on. All we can do is wait. Someone must be taking care of this. I mean, the authorities will know what's happening. Right? I think, I think this isn't the first time this has happened. What? This thing. What do you mean? When I was in astronomy class, the professor spoke about a study that related the magnetic field of the sun to certain historical events and popular beliefs. In short, the magnetic field of the sun reverses its polarity once every 11 years. With today's technology, we can better understand these phenomena and anticipate their severity, just like what's happening today. The professor then delved deeper into the history of these phenomena and told us about March 1989, when rare things took place, such as sightings of auroras in states like Texas and Florida. He told us about other 
similar episodes. Just like the one in 1859. When just like today, there was a global blackout. Only at that time, technology was obviously not like it is today. And the damage was bad, but not disastrous. But when we were in the underpass, and Matt told us what he had seen, I swear I couldn't believe it. Here we go again. The legends are all true. The professor talked about an ancestral creature that thrived in the dark. In some books, there is also talk of a beast with wolf-like features. In the 13th century, people went as far as to make human sacrifices to appease its hunger. It doesn't seem real. How did they stop the beast? I don't know. I think its hunger somehow got manageable. But this solar eruption has brought it back again. My God. All this time, it was here. We need to hope his hunger vanishes. The creature will vanish with it. I don't want to die. I don't want to be eaten by that thing. No one will die anymore, and no one will be eaten again. We just need to wait for someone to come to help. That's if they come. No, I can't do this. We can't just sit here and wait to be killed. We must do something. What do you suggest? This is your father's house, right? Uh, he used to hunt, right? Yes, so what? So there should be some gun somewhere in this house. I think he's given away most of his things. Maybe there's still a rifle in a closet in the tool shed or something. Let's go check. Are you mad? It's too dangerous. Yes, we should wait. Wait for what? Wait for help that won't come? Wait for our death, huh? You're right. We need to be prepared to defend ourselves when the beast comes. Good. So let's go to the shed to get our weapons. Wait, I'll go. No. Dylan, you're not going on your own. Yes, I can. Summer. I will not allow anything to happen to you. Dylan. Listen to me. I behaved shamefully. I want to make up for it. If you'll allow me, I want to start over. And I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Please stay here. Be careful. Okay. I'll take the weapons and I'll be back. I'll just be a minute. Alice, check if we have more torches.
Something must have happened to him. I can feel it. Try to stay calm. All we can do is wait. No, I can't. We must do something. What do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. But if he needs help, I can't just leave him in danger. I'll go check if we have something that we can use as a weapon. I'll check downstairs. I'll check in the hall. Okay. The door is open. In the rush of things, he probably left it open. Check outside the door. I'll go downstairs and check, okay? I will. Okay.
please. You must go. I'm not leaving. Not without you. Please. <laughs> It'll be okay, but you stay with me, please. I'm so sorry to have hurt you. No, no, don't worry about that. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen, it'll be all right, okay? But you stay with me. I didn't mean to hurt you, Summer. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all good. We're gonna... Start over, like you said, okay? <laughs> You'll have to go on without me. No, no, I don't want to. No, please. This is how it's supposed to be. No. No. No, Dylan. 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 No, wake up, please. Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> Summer. Summer.
Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Are you okay? Listen, would you like to come with me? It's been a very long night for everyone. Come. Is it safe where you live now? I don't know. I don't think so. We've been running all night. Everyone is dead where I live. Yeah, same. Do you know somewhere safe where we could go? <sighs> no. They're everywhere. We could try somewhere in town. Yeah. Maybe where they've already been. They won't come back. They are deploying military forces. Experts have not yet been able to explain what is happening. We repeat, we are in a state of emergency. Humanoid creatures have appeared in the blackout. They attacked humans and animals without distinction. The armed forces are actively engaged to protect the population. If you're lucky enough to hear this radio message, spread the word. We are in a state of emergency. Do not leave your homes. I will.